What if you never lost a note again? No more trouble looking for lost information, spending hours organizing and optimizing your note-taking setup, or trying to remember where you put that important database. This app could change everything for you. The app is Tana, and it lives in the intersection of notes apps focused on capturing simple notes and those focused on doing more with those notes. Here's what I mean. When I tag something with this tag, it tags it. This looks a lot like tags in other apps you might have used, but it's a bit different because once I tag it, it joins any list of similar items in my note-taking system. So if I tag a book, it's no longer just here, in this part of my collection. It's also over here, over here, and here too. This is crazy because I didn't have to put my new note in any of these places or figure out if there was a right folder or database to drop it into. You simply take notes anywhere. And those notes move themselves to the place they can be used best. This type of tag is called a super tag. Super tag tells Tana what a note is and where it goes. You can turn anything you type from a plain note into a task, a meeting, a person. When you do this, it transforms the note. Turn a note into a task and the note gets a status to set and a potential due date field. Turn a note into a meeting and it will get a date, list of potential attendees and a prompt to let Tana join the meeting you specify, automatically transcribe, summarize and tag follow-ups that are sent back to Tana for you. Turn a note into a person and it gets a company, job, title and email field. In other words, when you tell Tana what a note is, it will suggest what it knows those things need, extra information and tools that help you use that kind of note well, and when it knows what it is, it can put it where it needs to go. A person can go into a list of networking contacts to follow up with, or into a list of your coworkers organized by departments. Or when you create a meeting, they can be automatically suggested as an attendee. If you've already set up these pages, your new person tag will be added without you having to do anything. And if you're setting up a new page, Tana will find the people you tagged in the past based on what you're looking for. Super simple. This is as easy as capturing something in Apple Notes. Just type, indent, add more information, whatever you want. You can search for it later, tag it, add details or not. And you don't have to think about where it needs to go in advance. It'll flow there automatically, either now if it's already built or later if you set it up then. Can a note only go to one place though? It can either be a person or a meeting? Nope, it can be multiple things at once. Let's say it's a person and it's a coworker. Tag them as both. Now it'll go both places, wherever co-workers are needed and wherever people in general are needed. Add as many tags as useful or remove a tag if it stops making sense. This is powerful. Notes can instantly be used in many different ways, but it's simple. Just add a tag or remove it. But all of this is kind of a waste if you have to be on your computer at all times to make use of it. That's why I use Tana on my phone all the time. You can of course type to add a note to Tana, which will go to your today page waiting for you to process it. Or you can add it to a super tag right away and it'll go wherever you need it. But even better, in my opinion, is capturing notes using my voice. Let's capture a reflection by clicking the weekly reflection super tag. Okay, feeling really excited and energized right now. We finally managed to film this video about super tags. One big challenge was sharing all the things that SuperTags can do in a simple way that makes it feel fun and accessible. But I think that one thing I learned in this process is that less is more, and to only share the most visually interesting concepts to invite people to explore further themselves. The Reflection SuperTag knows to listen for whatever I'm talking about and to find challenges, mood, wins and learnings from my reflection. It also perfectly transcribes my original message as needed. And then these reflections get added to a page where I can review my past reflections at any time. And all I have to do is what I'm best at, rambling about my day. And Tana gets to do what it's best at, organizing those thoughts for me so I can find them later. So if I tag a task super tag, how does Tana know what extra information would be helpful to add to that task? 
Tana has 10 or so default tags that it comes set up with, as well as pre-made pages so you can find items that were tagged in the past. And those tags are already set up to help you, like the reflection tag that automatically fills out your reflections for you, but you can create your own new tags or make changes to any of the tags that already exist. If you right click on any tag, then click configure tag, you can go in and adjust that tag's template. Let's say this is a videos tag. You can add a field for the video URL, a field to drop in the thumbnail for the video, and a spot for the YouTube channel the video comes from, and maybe a video rating for once you watch it and the date you watched it. You can set up fields as checkboxes, dates, or a list of different clickable options. Now, whenever you watch an interesting video, like this one, you can capture it to Tana. How do we find this information? We just go to our super tag overview. All our super tags live here and we can pin the ones we use the most. We can also create our own pages. It's as easy as going to our home page of our workspace and create a spot for my videos, indent under it and hit forward slash. Select the videos tag. Tana will now pull all your videos there. You can check out each of them individually or we can reorganize and visualize these. When you pull in any kind of item together like this, you can look at them in new ways. Let's take a look at a table of these videos. Now we can organize it by date added. We can even create a new view organized by video rating just videos rated four or five stars. Now, whenever we add a five star video, it will automatically show up here. Again, we didn't have to figure out any of this when we were setting up our video super tag, and we can change any of this later. It's really powerful, but it's also incredibly easy to get started. You're typing something else. You highlight, you tag. You're on a walk, you think of something, you press this button, you talk and it's tagged. You screenshot something, tap and tag. All of these take about a second of thought. And instead of 10 taps to find the database you need, you tag once and the note goes everywhere in your space. Let's talk about other ways your super tags make your notes powerful. First, automatic note settings. Let's say we wanna break up our video list into videos that we've watched already, one to watch soon, or just might watch someday. We add those options to our super tag as the video's status. And we create a view that groups by whichever category they're in. But which of these categories should the video start in? Well, if we go into our video tag settings, we can set the status to start out watch someday. Now, whenever we add a new video, it defaults into watch someday and shows up in the right spot, saving you a step every time you add a video to Tana. Next, automatic note names. Here's a meeting note. You might be creating one every week between you and another coworker. It's a bit annoying to have to come up with a name for this meeting every time. So instead, you set up your super tag so that when you tag it, the name of the note changes based on the information inside it. Let's go to super tag settings, advanced options, and build title from fields. Meeting with attendees on date. The cache squiggly bracket is telling Tana to pull in the information from those fields into the notes title. So now, if we made a meeting between Braga and Olav, anything tagged as a meeting will automatically be renamed to show the people in the meeting and when it happened. Third, different types of super tags. Let's say you have a meeting tag with this information appearing when you tag it. But sometimes you have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a coworker who you manage. For that meeting, you want to capture this information, learning goals and follow-up tasks. I want the standard meeting information to show up in all meetings, but I only want to capture this information in one-on-one -on -one meetings, not every meeting. So what we'll do is we'll create a new super tag and call it a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And instead of remaking all the fields, we'll tell Tana that it's a new type of meeting. 
Now it will pull in everything a meeting tag has, since it's a type of meeting, but we can add new information that is specific to the one-on-one. -on -one. That way, this new type of meeting has extra details, but both meetings share the same basic meeting information without having to remake everything. Also, if we ask Tana to find our meetings, it will show all meetings of all kinds. But if we look for just our one-on-one -on -one meetings, it will only show meetings of that type. This lets you set up one kind of main super tag, and then set up a bunch of different types of that main tag with different information without adding a lot of clutter to your original tag. Fourth, buttons for super tags. Once you're really comfortable with Tana, you can even set up super tags so that they have little buttons that can change things about the note by clicking them. For example, you can set up a task tag with buttons that change that task's priority levels in one click, or archive the task instantly. You can set up a time tracker on your tasks that starts your timer, and another that appears to end the timer. This allows you to create a time tracker for your tasks inside Tana. And once it's set up, all you have to do is add the task tag to your note to get these features. And if you remove the tag, the note becomes a normal note again. You can learn how to set up these buttons in the commands section of your tag settings, but I'm gonna save that for another video. But the main goal is always this. Capture things as simply as possible. Tag them now, later or not, and then watch as the information you need goes where it's most needed, the way you need it. That's the power of a super tag. And if you try it, it might just change your life. If you want to set up three super simple systems in Tana in 10 minutes or less, watch this video next. Or check out this video for a deep dive into all of Tana's features. Go on.